Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'll be creating at least one collage, maybe more, using a template that is inspired by the way artist Laura Hennyforth creates some of her collages. Laura, if you're watching this video, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your last name. Please correct me if I did so. I became aware of Laura after she made a video inspired by one of my videos. It was such a wonderful surprise. I'll link her channel in the description area so you can see for yourself how she creates collages. Before we start collaging, a bit of a backstory. For a while, I wanted to try turning a continuous freeform line drawing into a collage. I wasn't sure the best way to go about it. A light bulb went off when I watched a video of Laura's when she used a template as a guide for a collage. Using a template seems like a great way to create this type of collage, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm not sure how many collages I'll be making. We'll see how the first one turns out, then decide. I'll go over the supplies in the collage section. So with that long introduction out of the way, let's get started with the first collage. Since I'll be working in an art journal, I'm going to paint the page so the collage will be on top of a colored ground. I brought out Blake's Matte Acrylic Paint and Amethyst and Warm Gray to paint an ombre. I like using at least two brushes when I paint an ombre, one for each color. If you haven't tried painting an ombre before, it might be a good idea to use three brushes, one for each color, and a third for blending the two colors together. While the paint dries on the ground, let's talk a bit about the collage template. I cut out sheets of paper into six inches by nine inches for the templates. This is slightly smaller than the size of the journal page, so I know the collage will fit within the page. I'm using one paper template per collage, but I've cut multiple papers in case I make more than one collage or if I make a mistake. I've already drawn the template for this collage with a Sharpie. Let me show you it. I made it a bit simple since I'm still figuring out this technique. Let me rearrange my desk so we can start collaging. I pulled papers in purples, pinks, blues, and bright green for this collage. I cut pieces for each shape to save time. Each piece of paper is slightly larger than the corresponding shape on the template. I'm starting by taping the first piece face down to the back of the template, covering the area of the first shape. As you can see, that drawing the template with a Sharpie makes the design visible from the back side, which is helpful for this technique. I'm using washi to tape the paper in place since it's easy to remove without damaging the paper. I'm using an X-Acto knife with a new blade and cutting mat to cut out the shapes on the template and the paper behind it at the same time. I'm starting with cutting the innermost shapes first than the outer shapes. I'm seeing if it's easier to cut out the shapes in this order. Helpful hint, I find the best way to cut paper with the X-Acto knife is to cut a bit of it, then rotate the paper. Continue doing so until the shape is completely cut out. You want your hand in a comfortable position when cutting. When you remove the cut template, you may need to go back and cut any missed areas like I did. Flip over the template to remove the other section of the collage paper and any washi tape remaining on the cut collage paper. Make sure the cut collage paper is seated correctly into the template before taping it down. I'm using packing tape because I have a lot of it on hand and this technique uses a lot of tape. I will continue building the collage on this template. This section of the video will be sped up since it's basically the same technique as the first shape. Also, this section is a mix of narration and music. I 
I decided to bring out my bone folder to burnish the tape so the collage paper will be secured to the template. This last section was a bit tricky to cut. I used washi to secure it to the front side of the template, then finished cutting the outside of the shape. I took extra time to make sure the cut section of the pink purple collage papers were seated correctly before taping it to the template. One final burnishing with the bone folder over the whole collage just to make sure it's secured. Now that all the collage pieces are taped down, I'm going to cut around the collage using scissors. Lori uses scissors for this step, so I thought it'd be a good idea to do the same. Before I glue the collage to the ground, I want to decide on the placement. Initially, I planned to put the pink purple section at the top of the page, but I thought this area didn't have enough contrast against the amethyst colored ground. Once I flipped it, I knew this was the right placement. There was enough contrast between the gray ground and the pink purple section of the collage. Since there's packing tape on the back side of the collage, I won't be able to use glue to adhere to the ground. I'm using double sided tape instead. I'm applying the tape to the edges and inside section to make sure the collage is secure to the ground. Here's the finished collage. I'm happy with the 
way it turned out for my first attempt at using this technique. It has me thinking about trying another one, but changing it up a bit. If you're interested in seeing at least one more, please follow me to the next section. This time, instead of taping the cut collage pieces with packing tape to the back of a template, I'm going to glue each cut shape to the ground. I'm still going to use a template to cut the paper because I want the pieces to fit like a puzzle. This is the new template. It's slightly more detailed than the first one. I marked the colors that I'll be using inside each shape to make it easier to remember which color paper goes where. First though, I'm going to paint the ground with Blix Matte Acrylic Paint in teal green. I decided not to paint the ground with a smooth, even look. I was looking for variation and value, meaning some lightness and darkness. Now that the paint is dry, you can see some variation of value of the teal green. There's some darkness here, some light over here, and up in this area. I think it looks good. Now let's start collaging on top of it. I brought out papers in reds, yellow, orange, and these colors will contrast nicely against the teal green ground. I'll place the papers on the ground as I cut them. After all the pieces are cut, then I'll come back and glue each one to the ground. This way I can make sure the placement of the pieces is correct. Once again, I will speed up this section of the video where I'm cutting the papers with the template. The next section where I'm cutting the shapes is music only. It's the same technique as the first collage. I'll come back during the gluing section.
All the pieces are cut, so it's time to start gluing them down. I brought out scissors in case I need to do a small bit of trimming. I'll start by gluing the middle section and working my way out. My thought process is that the finished collage will sit closer to the initial placement. It won't be exact, but it'll be close. Here is the finished collage. I have decided to create only two collages using this technique. Let's move on to the art review section and wrap up this video. Let's take a look at the final collages. Taping the back of this collage as I cut the shapes ensured that the finished collage looked the same as the design. It wasn't ideal to use double-sided tape instead of glue to adhere it to the ground. I don't think I would use this technique for artwork to sell, but I would use it as a way to work out a design idea in an art journal or a sketchbook. I'm glad that I switched the position of this collage element. It provides more contrast to the overall look of the collage. As I mentioned earlier, this design was simple since it was my first attempt at this technique. I think this way of using the template works for how I collage. I could use glue to adhere it to the ground, so I would use this for art that I sell. The more I practice this technique, the more I'll be able to accurately line up the different collage shapes. There's good contrast in this collage against the ground. I like that the ground has subtle shades of teal green. Overall, I'm happy with my first attempt at using a template to create collages. It's nice to have figured out a way to create collages from continuous freeform line drawings. I encourage you to try this technique if you're interested. Also, I hope I've inspired you to try something different as well as to be inspired by other artists. A reminder that Laura's YouTube channel is listed in the description area. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions. Take care.